Hi Sagittarius, I hope you are doing well and this is a general reading for any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius. So we will get a sense of the awareness, guidance and possible outcomes for the week. You can use this information in whatever way helps you best. Okay, the first two cards I'm going to choose is the awareness of the week. Okay, so we're starting with the Eight of Cups. Look at that. There you go. So the Eight of Cups, we see the man here making off under the moonlight uh, with his walking stick, and he's taking off in the mountains, and he's leaving behind eight full cups. So this can suggest a couple of things. It can suggest that whatever scenario, relationship, or job that you're in, it's not making you feel satisfied. You're feeling uh, not very content and you know, you're gonna walk away from, from this. You're gonna take a break. So you could either be permanently uh, cutting loose and leaving, or again, you could be taking a time out from a situation to get some perspective, to do some, do some soul searching, to take some time alone. But you know, when you are leaving behind eight cups, there's something going on. And on a literal level, this could suggest that maybe you have travel plans that you're gonna be traveling this week, or you may be spending time alone. You may be uh, needing some time alone to think things through. And then you might have a next step after this. But this is a card that could be discontent. It could be walking away from something that is not making you feel good, happy, satisfied, or joyful. So our other big awareness for the week is the Fool, Major Arcana. And with the Fool, we see our Fool here happily walking toward the edge of the cliff with all of his possessions in his knapsack. And life is carefree and it's fun. And the dog is yapping at him and it's either he's either saying, let me come with you or look out below, you fool. So, you know, the fool represents new beginnings and it's the uh, idea of taking a leap of faith, of really perhaps taking a risk, doing something new, new projects, uh, uh, new hobbies, a new career, a new relationship that if your relationship has not been serving you, has not been making you feel content, you might feel that you have to move on. Now, the fool is about new beginnings, taking a leap of uh, faith, but it's important to think about that the fool is doing so because he wants to have excitement. He wants to bring back carefreeness and wonder into his life. And so, you know, there could be a message here for you to bring, bring this sense of carefree energy and excitement about a new path, a new journey back into your existence. So now let's choose two cards for guidance. Okay, so we have some pentacle cards. We have uh, pentacle, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We see the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles is about balance about juggling everything that you're having to do in your personal life, professional life, in all aspects. This can relate to juggling your money, of working money around from different accounts or paying off different credit cards first. This could be juggling social obligations of having to do things where you feel that you have to do things. You are invested in not letting these pentacles drop so you're doing quite a dance to keep it together. And you know, this can be exhausting. This can be really tiring. And so, you know, the juggler, we have to decide where we put our energies. And with a two card, it's about choices that we make. It's about having to balance maybe two different 
um, things pulling us in different directions. So while you may want to have a fabulous summer vacation, when you sit down and look at your finances, maybe you have to adjust your thinking on how you're going to do it to make it work, to find the balance. So you're trying to keep it all together here. Juggling life, juggling work or relationships and again can be tiring to do so and you know we have to juggle on a daily basis regardless of it's a good week or bad week and so with this earth energy continued we have the seven of pentacles and you can see he's also taking a break similar to our eight of cups man who's walking away here is the Seven of Pentacles gardener who has been tending to his pentacle bush, who's been nurturing it, taking care of it, putting in the right amount of hours and energy and resources to make it flourish. But often when we're involved in, in giving our time and building something and growing something and nurturing it, we often take a step back to take a look at our work. Are we on schedule? Are we on track? Can I do this more efficiently? Can I, uh, is this worthwhile for me? Is this pentacle bush ever going to be just right? You know, it seems like it's taking forever. You could be losing patience. I think the subtle message with the seven of pentacles is that you're very close to fruition. You're very close to harvest. And if you continue to nurture, if you, if you continue to direct your resources in the right way, then you will benefit and you will have that reward. But there certainly is a sense here of thinking about what you're doing, thinking about what you're trying to create and what you're trying to, to build and to nurture. So we have a sense of juggling. We have a desire for new beginnings, something that's going to speak to us in terms of happiness and creativity. We have a situation where we're not feeling content, where we want to walk away. So let's take a look at the possible outcomes for the week. So we have the Two of Swords, Swords, which is a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We see the woman here sitting on her stone bench in gray, covering her chest and her heart with these two imposing swords. She's blindfolded. You know, there's a sense here that uh, you may be unwilling to deal with some decisions to be made, or you're having a hard time making that decision. It's a struggle and maybe you're just not ready to do it at this time. Twos, again, relate towards decisions or things pulling us in opposite directions. And she's covering her heart, so really nothing's coming in and maybe nothing's going out. It doesn't seem that she's very receptive or open. She may feel stagnant. She may feel stuck. But what she seems to be saying is that I'm not willing to face this situation right now. I need a break. I need more time. You know, this nurturing is going to take more time for you to find the reward. You are working on balance in general, finances, energies, desires, obligations. And here, a sense of walking away from a situation that does not serve you or that you need a break. And here's this inability to move, to make that decision. So out of all of this, here we have the lovers, major arcana. So with the lovers, we see this uh, naked couple. And that really goes to a sense of allowing yourself to be vulnerable, putting yourself out there, being open to relationships, being open to intimacy, being open to developing a bond. 
This is a card of transformation for serious relationships where you meet someone where you connect, where you understand each other, where you're attracted to their energy, it has the blessings of the angels. When we are vulnerable, you know, we know that we can get hurt. We're taking that risk. So for some of you, this is a card. It's about a relationship. It's about either you are meeting someone with a possibility that is significant and could be long-term, and you're having to work on this idea of developing this relationship. You're trying to work in the balance, perhaps, of paying attention to this relationship. Again, taking a leap of faith, a risk. Walking away, perhaps, from, a, from an old situation in order to allow this new situation. But you're not sure. You're not quite decisive enough on this now. If this is, if you're not interested in relation, relationship, quote unquote, uh, you know, intimate, passionate relationship, this extends to your relationships with people that you're close to, your closest friends, your family, your coworkers that you're bonded to. That something arises with respect to this relationship, finding the balance putting in the work into the relationship. Maybe letting some things stay undealt with, if that's such a word, you know, while you continue to, to spend more time learning about this person or about this situation. So, you know, let me just take a look here. We've got the Eight of Cups walking away. We've got the, the full new beginnings, carefree, feeling that wonderful sense of energy and excitement about taking a leap of faith, a risk. Still, this week you're working on balance and finding the balance between it all. You're plugging away. You may be taking a break from nurturing. You may be needing to take a break from this relationship. And there's some things maybe that you're not seeing about this relationship or that you don't want to see at this time. And you'll deal with it later. Very interesting. So let's get some more information for you, Sagittarius, from the Oracle cards. And this will be a practice area or Focus for the week. Very clear message for you, which is go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. And that is, uh, it's a beautiful illustration on the girl on the unicorn. And, you know, going for it is taking that leap of faith, a new beginning. Perhaps a new beginning with a relationship, some type of relationship that you've been putting energy and time into it, that you're trying to find the balance, that you're leaving something behind for, and that maybe you're, uh, there's some things that you're not wanting to see right now. Maybe there's some truth behind this that you're not ready to deal with, but in any sense, going for it, it's certainly a direct message from spirit, which is to, you know, uh, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Now I'm going to choose a card for emotional self or spiritual self. Forgiveness, holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness 
in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and to transform. So if a situation has made you feel unhappy enough and dissatisfied enough to leave, uh, you know, matters of forgiveness, whether you are unhappy directly with someone else or they may be, uh, you may be seeking their forgiveness for walking away. Hmm. And finally, let's get a little more information on the love aspect of, I'm going to shuffle these, see if I can shuffle these better. Like attracts like. If you are longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. And you see the little mini me in here. Um, it's the law of attraction. Like attracts like. Spend time with people who share the same type of qualities that you do, the same attributes. Spend time with people who Share your long vision for life, your mindset, positive mindset, someone who is a go-getter. You know, when you spend time with other people like you, it's, it's, uh, it creates such a nice energy. It makes for a dynamic relationship. Like attracts like, and particularly in these significant relationships that we have like attracts like in that the people who are really connected they understand each other because it, their core values are more than likely the same and uh, they have the same views spiritually they're just in tune and that's really what it is it's about you know vibrationally finding your match so Sagittarius this is what I have for you for the week and I hope that you found something here that was helpful. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, and comment. And then come back next week for another weekly tarot reading. Thanks. Bye-bye.